Greetings LEGO folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing our 75299 LEGO Mandalorian Trouble and Tatooine set which retails for 2999 USD, 4999 SGD, has 276 pieces and has 3 minifigures. Without further ado, let's go on to the next section. Now to start off on the review of this beautiful set right here, let's just talk about the entire looks of this first. First views for this, I really feel that this set is quite gorgeous in appearance and very nostalgic. This I really love by Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2 and all. And this is primarily from Season 2 if you guys don't know. And yeah, there are actually 3 minifigures provided in this set including Mando, the Tuscan Raider and of course Grogu at the back over there which I will kind of talk about after I talk about the set design. But first off, 2 of the parts of this set, which is the middle part of here and the one on the right, is actually just related to the Tuscan Raider. So if you didn't know, uh, Mando or Din Djarin basically helped the Tuscan Raiders and the people of Freetown, I think that's what it's called now in the book of book. Kind of small spoiler right there, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, uh, he helped them to kind of fight this cross dragon in Tatooine and in the end, Mando managed to kill the dragon and yeah, the Tuscan Raiders sell him basically this kind of uh, synopsis behind that. But otherwise, yeah. As I mentioned, this is actually the Tuscan Raiders camp, which is designed in a very nice, you know, aesthetic. Really like it. It's very kind of primitive in appearance, and yeah, the parts and pieces used are very necessary to an extent. And I love how they kind of provided like certain spaces like this that allows you to put the Tuscan Raiders weapon, and they even have a campfire for the Tuscan Raiders as well. And you can even kind of move the shelter that they have over here in a certain method which is pretty cool because it kind of expands outwards so yeah and otherwise this is just a pretty um yeah, small design right here for the tuscan readers to kind of sit around and otherwise i'll kind of talk about this ballista over here so this is actually the tuscan ballista that the tuscan readers used to assist mando as i kind of mentioned earlier and how this works is basically it's a machine made out of ropes and kind of wood material and the Tuscan readers use it like a giant crossbow of sorts. And to demonstrate how dangerous this is, I shall hit the Mandalorian box at the back with this. And yeah, it creates an enormous amount of sound right there which shows that it, when you get hit by this, it could be really painful. So parents, maybe I'll advise you not to buy this for your kids just because um, kids playing with such things, I don't know. So, yeah, it can be quite dangerous in kids' eyes. So, even if you want to buy this for your kids, make sure you kind of supervise them with both eyes when they're playing with it. So, yeah. But, anyways, looking at this, I kind of wish that LEGO would have provided more of some fiber pieces to put on this like uh, design right here, just because, um, as I mentioned, ropes were actually used during the design of this and yeah it would have just made this whole build much cooler in appearance if they provided some fiber other than that uh how this works is basically a minifigure can actually hold on to the ballister at this side right here and yeah the tuscan raider will be able to use his ballista to shoot at whichever target he wants and that's kind of it for this you can't really sit on it as there's not much space around and that would be it for this design Oh, and also uh, for this Tuscan Raider shelter right here, there's also this super bones right here as well. They give you two bones in this set, one extra. And yeah, probably for the dinner or something like that. And that would be it for these two parts right here. The last part we have over here is actually Mando's speeder bike right here. So if I'm not wrong, Mando's speeder bike is actually the Mandalorian speeder bike that Mandalorians created. You can check that out on Google if you want. And other than that, yeah, it has quite a nice design right there with different kinds of light gray and blue gray parts right there. And they are kind of connected to these two guns over here, which Mando can kind of hold on to drive the bike. It doesn't have any kind of shooting mechanism or whatsoever, but it does have these two pieces in front to kind of represent blasters. And you can kind of um, make it mobile by just turning this around if you want to, so that the bike is positioned in a different you know, angles and all. So that's pretty nice. Other than that, um, there's also kind of two slots, kind of technique pins for you to put your 
weapons. So this is both of Mando's guns right here that he uses. And there's a driver's seat and of course a seat for baby Grogu right here, which is really, really nice and really, really cute. And of course, we also have this bag over here that's attached by this Technic parts right here. And that would be all for this bike right here. With that, let's go on to the minifigures and talk about the final verdict. Now for our minifigures, we have three right here, as I mentioned, Grogu, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin, and Tusken Raiders. I did not have all three of these minifigures before, so this is my first time getting them. But none of them are actually exclusive to this set, FYI. And yeah, but still, it's honestly pretty good to look at this minifigure. All of them have amazing torso prints right there, especially Din Djarin right there with the metallic kind of prints. And he even has side arm prints, which is at a point. The only downside to this is the fact whereby he doesn't actually have a face print that was already revealed in the past seasons. So that's kind of disappointing. If I'm not wrong, Lego is actually deciding to make a headpiece for him this year in one of the Mandalorian sets. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Din Djarin face. Other than that, this is his back torso right here with more metallic and more of his uh, Beskar armor right there. So yeah, pretty cool looking. And otherwise, looking at the Tuscan Raider, this is a head specific for the Tuscan Raider, so that's pretty cool with those metallic kind of design on him as well, those spikes on top. And that he has kind of a utility belt on him, which is pretty nice. And yeah, this is the back torso. Lastly, for Grogu, his head is actually made of some rubber material, so that's kind of surprising for me. And he just looks absolutely adorable and kind of shines under the light as well, which is pretty cool. This is his... Uh, torso right there with some of the rope prints, which is pretty nice, and this is the back of the minifigure. And all in all, honestly, I really like this minifigures, and it adds on to the aesthetics of the set, and therefore that is kind of why I really like this set as well. But now for our final verdict, what I would say for this set is, uh, for aesthetics wise, I would actually give this a decent 8 just because it kind of covers everything in total, including like just facilities like shelters right there, Play mechanism wise, we also have this, which is pretty cool and adds on to the functionality. And we even have kind of a mobility feature, which is with the speeder bike. So on all aesthetics, I would give it an eight. And functionality as mentioned with this play mechanism right here and with how this shelter can kind of move about, it's pretty great as well. And therefore it deserves a nine for functionality and last for price for 276 pieces for like 29.99 USD. I would say that's pretty good price to piece ratio and therefore I would give it probably a 8 in terms of price. So an 8, 8 and 9 I guess that would make this a solid 8 set in my opinion. I don't really buy Star Wars set often and I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan out there but I really did enjoy watching The Mandalorian and I love Grogu so that's why I bought this set. So if you like this video so far, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah that'll be all for today not to do most and to those and this is the way bye guys